What's up fam, Darkstep here, and today we have a very exciting episode of House Flipper. We are going to be taking on our biggest uh, challenge yet, and we're going to be completing our biggest house so far. So we're going to do a walkthrough of what we've done so far, because if everything goes smoothly, we're going to be selling this house today, and we're going to be moving into a bigger house, uh, or office if you want to call it that. So. Just a quick walk through. Got a little Christmas area here. It's a little past time for that to go. Uh, we've got our little playground area here. Snowman out front. Little koi pond. Uh, our swimming pool. Little kiddie pool. Little uh, grilling station over here. And just our luxury outdoor seating in front of our campfires. And then just a couple decorations back here to chop it off. And not to forget all the trees that kind of go all around the whole place. So, last time we'll be looking inside here. This is our bathroom. Very simple, straightforward. I like it. And this is our main office area here. Uh, just absolutely happy with what we've done with everything here. But uh, it's served its purpose and we're going to move on to our bigger and better things. So... Let's go into our browser, and we wanted to do the... Which one was it? I think this one. Yeah, we're going to go into this one here, and let's go check it out. Okay. Looks like we got some nice space to work with in here anyways, which is perfect. And this is the house. Alright, so this is the house. Um, definitely needs some work out front here. All sorts of weeds. Uh, those trees, they might stay. Got a rather nice backyard. Got some molehills to work on as well. Uh... Don't know if I'm a huge fan of the garage being different than the rest of the house, but it's something we can take a look at afterwards. So, go inside the garage here and take a peek at what we've got. Very, very large space here to work with. Move our mini map there. And we've got a little living room slash study area here, which is pretty cool. Uh, hallway, uh, another living room, and this is our bathroom with this whole house like this, okay, and this is the kitchen, pretty nice space, and that's just the garage there, so we've got an upstairs here, let's check it out, uh, just the storage space, bedroom, number one, bedroom number two for a baby, and bathroom. So I definitely think we can work on this here, and we'll be right back. Uh, we've been here? Yes, we have. And we'll be right back uh, once we get all cleaned up. Welcome back. Um, done a lot of cleaning up. <laughs> oh, better get rid of the scaffolding here. I couldn't actually get to the top floor, so I had to buy a scaffolding. There was a whole bunch of dirt and stuff up here that I just couldn't get to. Um, so if you're playing the game yourself, that's how you do it. Did clear out a couple of the trees here. I just felt it was a little bit too much right as you were coming in. Uh, took care of all the molehills and cleaned all the windows, everything out here. So everything out here is looking good. This is unfortunately something I can't get rid of. I tried it, but it just, it's there. So I don't know if it's a visual bug or what, but it's there. And here's what we've got on the inside. This was a little living room area kind of thing. And I think this was a living room too. That was a makeshift bathroom and a living room or a bedroom there. I can't remember, but this is a storage room all cleared out. And forgot this here. That was bedroom number one. This was the baby's bedroom. We gotta do some plastering. 
and this is the bathroom. So, with that said, we're going to take a start here, and we're probably going to change the layout slightly, like this room curves over into here, and this room also curves over into here, and this bathroom is super tiny, so we're going to do something with this. Um, so we haven't actually had a bathroom that's had a bathtub yet, so that's something I want to do. So we're going to take a look into that, and I'm going to have to destroy some of the walls, but uh, it'll be fun, and let's get started. And we're back. We have been very busy. In the time that we were gone, we knocked out all the walls that were here, and made our bathroom. Why do we have two doors to the bathroom, you ask? Well, that's a good question. We'll answer it in a second. So, <laughs> go in. This is our bathroom. We've got a uh, beautiful yellow in here for uh, for very first bathtub. So, in case you forget when you're having a bath, you are breathtaking. Don't forget it. Uh, put in some blinds here. Put in a few vents to get uh, stinkies and humidity and stuff out of here. And did our first shower like this before. We've never had an open concept one, so we had to actually build a wall and put this beside a wall in order for it to work. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. Now, don't tell anyone, but we did use doormats here instead of regular mats just because I couldn't find anything small enough to fit. And I felt this color went well with what we chose, so that's what we're going with. Uh, just a little station here for a sink and a mirror and towel. That's about it. We made a sauna. This was the big surprise. Uh, I know you wouldn't typically see something like this in a sauna, but it's my house and I want it to have the feel I want it to have. So this is what we went with. Just your basic bench set up with towels here. This is your heater. Um, I don't know if this type of heater actually requires the bucket and the ladle, but we've got it anyways. And just a little temperature sensor. We'll probably put that right uh, up here. Oh, it's more central yeah and just all throughout the house you're going to notice we're going to be using these halogen lights just because i like them a lot better there we go uh, i like them a lot better than a lot of the other lights and again this is my like dream house sort of thing now this bathroom isn't my dream house um I don't know what I would do for a dream bathroom, but it would be a lot fancier than this. It wouldn't just have a tub, a sink, uh, a toilet, and a shower. But I thought it looked really nice with the floor, uh, so that's why I went with that. But yeah, that's where we are right now. Uh, I have left a lot of the shelves in the garage. I don't know if I'm going to do too much. Uh, I probably will put in a little washer-dryer combo here. But I don't really know if I'm going to do too much, because in theory, this is where... Oh, that was weird, that was already open, but it was closed. Um, like, in theory, we'd have a card would be here taking up most of the space, so... I don't know. Well, I haven't decided yet, but... I'm going to put a little washer and dryer here, so we can do that on camera. Uh, washer plumbing system... I'll just put that right against the wall. Unscrew. And washing machine. Well, let's use this one. It looks fancier. There we go. I think I've said it before, but uh, one of my favorite things about this game is when you get to install stuff like this and just seeing what you're supposed to be clicking versus what you actually do click and just I don't know it's kind of neat to me it's just one of those things that I find fascinating <laughs> hopefully you do as well if you do uh, if you could do me a favor actually and let me know what your most fascinating thing is about this game uh, and just leave it in the comments that would be awesome there we go and now we're gonna throw in a dryer uh, does that kind of match? No. 
Is that white? Does that match? No. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, so yeah, we've got a little... Uh, do they have them? On the basket. Yes. I'm going to go with the plastic one because that is what I use for myself. Mine's actually like a whitish yellowish, which this game clearly doesn't have. So let's just go with a nice green color. Perfect. Now it's perfect. Cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, next thing we're going to tackle is this here, which is going to be basically our entertainment um, center, if you want to call it that. We're not going to be having a living room down here. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to have one in the whole house. But this is going to be like the entertainment room. So we're going to get started on this next, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, folks. So, been busy. Didn't exactly stick to my plan of putting... Um, my little entertainment area in here. I've got a better area for that that we're going to do. So in here, put a little island in the middle uh, with a couple stools here that you'd eat on. For the most part, I'd be with myself, so that would never really be an issue, but uh, we could pretend to have chairs in storage, and then we could always put a couple more chairs here. Um, but yeah, and then just uh, decorate the counter a little bit. So I'm going to move these just a touch. And put a couple of these things here, just some sugar, coffee, tea. Put a few things here, uh, one to occupy space, but two, you know, you'd have all your uh, your spoons and spatulas and, and graters and all that stuff that would all be right near the sink, so that's kind of where I put that. We do have our sink, our dishwasher, our oven, our stove, uh, our hood, and our fridge. We have little decorations like a clock, some paintings, uh, some more paintings there. Uh, all in all, very happy with how this turned out. I was going to make the whole thing this color, but I decided against it for two reasons. One, this whole thing has to stay white. You can't change the color of it. And two, there's no real good ending point. Oh. That's something I know I have to fix now. <laughs> There's no good real ending point because then if you have purple, the amaranth down here and white up here, it doesn't look great. So just decided just to keep the rest of the house white and this with the amaranth color. I'm gonna do something here with the entrance. Uh, I haven't exactly decided what, but this is the bell of the ball. This is the game room. Very excited about it. Didn't have anywhere else for the washer and dryer, so I just stuck them in the corner here, no big deal. Uh, I do have a fan here, so if it gets really hot, we can of course cool ourselves down. A couple mats. Uh, decorated the wall... crookedly? <laughs> uh, one or two more. There we go, that's good. Oh, one more. And there we go. Cool. Uh, just a couple of guitars, some surfboards, a couple paintings. Um, nothing too fancy. Over here, we've got the old school stuff. We've got a foosball table. We've got a pinball machine. We've got our um, uh, arcade machine here. This here, I wanted to fill it up with books, but none of the books really fit. So just kind of use your imagination. First time we use the fireplace, really think it's sharp. Uh, we do use a lot of the black granites throughout the rest of the house, so that's that. And then just a little aquarium on top. I put the chair, the uh, couch here, pardon me, so that, you know, we have our books here. We can just enjoy the fire, whatever. I was originally going to wall this off uh, just to have just a dedicated room for TVs, like a true cinema experience. But in the end, I decided against it. I did take out the lights here so that it is darker, like you'd want when you're watching stuff. Uh, in... Our previous episode, I think it was, we had a couple TVs like this. Again, just use your imagination. Pretend it's, you know, one big TV as opposed to one tiny TV. Very, very happy with how this turned out. Um, extremely happy. So, next time, we are going to be working on the upstairs. I'm going to have to finish that, obviously. So, we've got a little storage room here. 
bedroom one, bedroom two, and upstairs bathroom. So all in all, we don't have too much to do. Let's get cracking. All right, welcome back everybody. We are on a new day, new us, but the same house. <laughs> so, uh, been a little bit busy. I believe we've already showed off everything down here. The kitchen, the awesome playroom, everything else. But we've also done a bedroom. And keeping in the spirit that this is kind of my dream house, this is what we've got. We've got a little space here for our clothes. And this you could think of as, you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, books, whatever. But it's all full. We've got a little thing here. I love this picture here I found. It looks just like my cat Jarvis. So cute, so adorable. And we've got this here. Chill out in your man cave. Which, that'll be the next room we do. And a little area here for my cat. A little ball for him to play with. And... A plant in the corner. That's what we got. Actually, we do need uh, some blinds in here. So let's do that quickly together. Uh, windows... Let's do... I'm hoping for a little bit lighter of a green, but this will have to do. So we just put these together like so. It's a little dark, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And finish the last one here. And there we go. All in all, pretty happy with how this room turned out. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this room here. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're going to find out when it's done. I did put one of these in here. Now in for the game, they say that this is for... Um, you know, children to crawl around through, but I have one that looks exactly like this. Maybe not so big, but but for my cat. And I think this is going to work pretty good in this room. And no, it's not a cat room. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's uh, get started on the next room here. We have returned. Sneak peek? No. No sneak peek. Sneak peek? No. No. Okay, let's do it. This is my ultimate office. Boom. Now you might be saying, why do you have a wall in the middle of the room? That's not a wall, that's a green screen. So when I'm making these videos, boom. It's just me, it's not whatever's behind me, so. I did use this to my advantage as well. Put a couple whiteboards here for all my ideas that I have. <laughs> Little um, bookcase. I didn't know of anything else that would really fit. There's nothing behind it. So whatever I wanted to go here will go here. I need some motivation some days. So I just have to have a poster reminding me that I'm breathtaking. And that goes for all of you guys as well. You're all breathtaking. Little gaming setup here. Dual monitor, triple monitor setup. So this is for gaming, this is for whatever else, and this one could be for searching the internet for whatever game I'm playing. It's not the ideal setup. I'd like this monitor to actually be here, but with this top piece there, it doesn't exactly work, so kind of working around that. We've got some soundproofing on the wall here. From what I'm told, you don't want to have it everywhere, so I just put it in a little small area there everything here including the mouse pad lights up uh, i thought that was a pretty cool touch put some lines in here as well had to use the same picture as before chill out in your man cave threw an air conditioning and a fireplace because anyone that lives in canada knows you get both incredibly hot and incredibly cold so uh, this is a nice little tie-in that i had and this is just where i put the little cat's play toy so yeah, all in all, very happy with this. 
We only have two rooms left. We have the bathroom. And we have what is essentially a storage room. So we're going to get those done and we'll be right back. Here we go again. I have completed the bathroom. But first, I didn't complete this room. I did not have any lights in here. How silly of me. So I put a couple lights in here just to make the green screen look even better. And I put a light back here so that I can see what I'm doing. And of course I use more of the halogen lamps all the way through here. And with the lights in here, it looks brilliant. I uh, haven't done the hallway here yet. Now we walk into our bathroom. We went with uh, spring grass or spring green or something like that for the walls. And I think it does the trick. Very simple. It's a bathroom. It's got a toilet, a shower, and a sink. Um, you know, green was obviously our color theme in here for a lot of the house. And I think it looks pretty nice. I, of course, had to use the four mirrors again. I just really love it. And I have the lights on top. And I had to use a... Hmm, that's not straight. There we go. I had to use a doormat again because couldn't really find a nice green one that fit here. So there we go. All in all, very happy with it. All we have left to do is put some lights out in here, which we can actually do right now together on screen. So I've been using these halogen lamp minis all throughout the house. Sorry, it's not going to be perfectly lined up, perfectly straight lights in this game do not exactly line up very well and I'm not about to spend 10 minutes getting lights straight <laughs> sorry oh fell off the stairs <laughs> whoopsie let's do it this way there we go Now we just need some lamp switches here. Lamp switches. Oh, light switch. <laughs> you say it enough, eventually it becomes true. So we want one at the top of the stairs for sure. And we want one outside here. And... Oh, we've already got one here. Um, you know, that way kind of wherever we're going, we can always turn off the lights to the hall and not have it wasting hydro. And the last room here is going to be very simple. We're going to do uh, white paint. There we go. And we're just going to do this all throughout this room. This is a basic storage room and nothing more. Go. I have my painting skill all maxed out, so we're going the absolute fastest we can. Which, compared to day one, this is super fast. There we go. And fill up this last little bit here. And finish off the windows. And this little piece here. Oh, right on the edge. <laughs> That's all we had to do to finish it. Sweet. So now, we're going to find these. I know they're supposed to be for a garage, but it's going to work for the space that we have here, so it's not against the wall. And that's going to drive me crazy. Put in three. Perfect. We'll just fix this one here. There we go. And that's going to be it. We're just going to have to put a door on here and we'll be good to go. I figure there's no real reason for us to like fill the shelves and stuff. It'll just kind of happen over time. I'm going to have to see if I can find the floor one that matches. I think it's just down here. 
I think it's this one. Yes. And we'll just use the same one here that we used throughout the rest of it. So, that's it. Um, very happy with how this turned out. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to go through each and every room. And then we're going to do the outside. So, just a refresher. This is what we've done for the bedroom. And this is our office. Very happy with this. In fact, it's probably going to be the thumbnail for the video. This is our upstairs bathroom. Storage room. We just did that together. I'm not going to show it again. This is our downstairs bathroom. Of course, leading into our little sauna room here. <clears throat> our beautiful kitchen. Well, that could be the thumbnail too. That's a beautiful kitchen. It's a huge kitchen, but whatever and this is our man cave beautiful 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 all right what i think i'm going to do is i might plant some trees along here just to fill the space and really nothing more probably gonna put in a pool right here. Actually, let's do the pool together. Let's do the pool together. Uh, this one. Dark gray. Actually, let's put it behind this part of the house. Right there. So, shovel. Get the dirt out. Can you imagine if it was this easy to put a pool in in real life? <laughs> Shuffle the ground three times. Spread some dirt across where you just put the pool. You can actually carry the pool. And then you fill it up with a hose for 12 seconds. And then you're good to go. <laughs> Looks like we still have this visual glitch here. Yeah, none of this is coming off. It's a shame, but we're going to have to live with it. Cool. So I'm going to work on the backyard here a little bit more, and we'll be right back. All right, final cut here. No, it's not this plant. This plant is a lovely plant, but that's not what we're focusing on. We've been busy. All down through here, we put some pear trees. Stuck. <laughs> Left the garage alone, but the rest of the house we did in this cobblestone kind of pattern. Getting up on the higher stuff was very, very hard to do, uh, even with the help of the scaffolding. But uh, I think it works amazing. Put in a row of apple trees here just to kind of front or uh, line the front yard. And my nieces and nephews, when they come over, I want them to have something that they can play with. So I put in this little kids area here. I did use these lights all throughout. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like using it instead of the little solar lights, so there you go. We did use, for the first time, this portable projector with the screen, with four uh, places you can sit. Unfortunately, it doesn't turn on, but use your imagination. We have four sun loungers here with four tables beside them and a pool. This is kind of our grilling area here, a little bench we can sit on while we're waiting. And I've got two grills here, one because I love baked potatoes, so we'll put the potatoes on here while we're cooking up whatever else. And again, just some more lighting so that we can see what we're doing if we're having to do it late at night. And that's what we got. So if you want to see what this backyard and everything looks like in the light, come check us out in the next episode. But for now, everybody, that's going to be the end for me. And if you did enjoy the videos, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.